Welcome to Etosha Park. What a wonderful destination. This is a very cool place and it's available as a side trip or a day trip while you do your hunt with leopard legends. The broad array of animals, the breathtaking scenery, and the sheer beauty of this rugged landscape is second to none. It was really an interesting way to spend the day in Etosha, watching the animals not only interact with one another as herd animals, doing their day-to-day -day rituals and routines of at the exodus to and from feeding areas, watering holes, but it was interesting to watch the lions as they were hunting the other species that were there. While we were there, we also saw a bunch of ostriches. Couldn't get over how large they are when compared to, say, the size of a gemsbuck or something that weighs several hundred pounds. The ostriches were huge. Speaking of huge, so were the elephants and the rhinos that we saw. What an amazing way to spend the day. You could see on the elephants and the rhinos, they get a white color from the soil and the mud that they cool their bodies with when they're at the watering holes. That's why everything in this particular region has more of a white color-based soil rather than the red soil that you see in most areas of Namibia when we were there. Hartman Mountain Zebra as well as Black-Faced Impala are indigenous to Namibia. One of the few areas you can find those species in Africa is in Namibia itself. So if you're looking to add a Hartman Mountain Zebra to the trophy room or a Black-Faced Impala, Leopard Legends is the destination of choice. One of the interesting things about animal behavior and herd animal interaction or interspecies interactions are how a lot of the plains game species will utilize the acute vision that giraffes have in order to protect themselves. So the herd animals like gemsbuck, zebra, red heart beast, you name it, they'll hang around in a very immediate proximity to the giraffes. The giraffes are much taller as we all know, they can see above the trees and with those huge eyes of theirs they can see exceptionally well any danger in the distance. As soon as a giraffe busts out, all the other animals that are hanging in the immediate area around the giraffes know there's some danger in the area and they take off as well. So they use the giraffes as a security system, the other plains game species. Another neat thing that I found about giraffes that it was actually quite amazing to me was how well they can blend in. Their dappled markings blend them in extremely well when they're standing next to the trees because the way the lighting comes through the leaves and has a dappled effect of shadows on their body. You would think that they would be the easiest thing to spot. 4,000 pound, 22 foot tall, brown, blotchy giraffe, but they are surprisingly hard to see. One of the coolest things we experienced while we were at Etosha Park for the day trip was this belligerent honey badger that came to a water hole and chased off a bunch of black-faced impala. Honey badgers are awesome. They're pretty classic and honey badger don't care. Lewick was kind enough to take us for a quick run from Leopard Legends, just a two hour trip from where the hunting concession is to take us here. We had a spectacular day. We saw elephants, giraffe, lions, kudu, eland, honey badgers, you name it. This is really something you want to make the time to do when you come and experience Namibia. A day trip is great, but to really experience the place, you really owe yourself two to three days to cover it all. We never even touched on you know everything this place had to offer. It's like 24,000 square kilometers. Now look at the size of the footprint on this elephant. Like literally, look at it compared to my body size. I'm gonna tuck down here. Da 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 da. Enormous. You can see the cracks in their feet. The tremendous pressure. That's whacked. Size large. They classify these as desert elephants, and the thing about that is um, that's why they don't want them to be hunted. You know, we'll get one. Once in five years, we'll get a, a problem elephant tag. These elephants threaten natives and sheep herders and every, on, a, on a daily basis. And um, yeah, they, they're very destructive. The trees take a, a hell of a beating. Yeah, but that's our lives. We, we, on a daily basis, we just have to, to cope, cope, with that. cope with this, yeah. Uh, 
one of these elephants killed a very good friend of mine um, in April this year. Really? On an on a elephant hind, he was a problem bull and they were supposed to shoot him and before they could take him out. Um, he's a professional hunter too and he got crushed. Yeah, it's dangerous animals. You have to treat them with a lot of respect. There's one coming behind them. No, no, he's the first one. Yeah, I know, but there's one behind them. I don't want to. We'll have to watch, make sure they don't come at the same time. Shoot through them.